All right, gentlemen, on to the economy. Pennsylvanians are struggling to put food on the table and gas in their cars. Our next star, Emerson College, the Hill Poll, shows the economy and inflation are the biggest concerns for voters. 39% of them listed that as the top issue. Beginning with you, Mr. Oz, you have blamed President Biden and reckless Democratic spending for the inflation crisis, but voters would like to hear your specific plan to cut spending. Please explain in 60 seconds. Well, if you ask the U.S. government, they'll tell you. They have 4% waste and fraud. Now, I've traveled over the Commonwealth and spoken to countless people. There was a lady in Beaver County at a county fair who told me with fear in her heart that she wanted to provide food for her son's highly nutritious chicken she wanted. She couldn't afford it anymore. That's a big problem. If we've got 4% waste and fraud, we ought to be, take, to be able to take care of that. John Fetterman's, however, response continually is to raise taxes. He raised taxes as mayor. He tried to raise taxes as a lieutenant governor, 46%. That's a big tax rate. He supported Joe Biden's re recent tax ra uh, rate increase, and he's done that without paying his own taxes 67 times. I'll say that again. He hasn't paid his own taxes 67 times, but he's raising mine and yours. Those are radical positions. They're extreme. They're out of touch with the values of Pennsylvanians. And I can make the difficult decisions, as you do in the operating room as a surgeon. I'll make them cutting our budget as well to make sure we don't have to raise taxes on a population already desperately in pain from the high inflation rate. Mr. Fetterman, I will allow a 15-second rebuttal. He has specifically said you have not paid your taxes and that you want to raise taxes on Americans. How do you respond? Uh, absolutely. The Oz rule, of course, he's lying. It was helping two students 17 years ago to help them you know, buy their own homes. They, they didn't pay the bills, and it got her paid, and it has never been an issue in, in any of the campaign before. It was all about nonprofit. All right. Thank you, Mr. Fetterman. Continuing with you, Mr. Fetterman, your opponent has criticized Democratic spending, as you heard. Has the Biden administration overspent? And if so, where do you think spending should be cut? You have 60 seconds. No, here's what I think we have to fight about inflation here right now. That's what we need to fight about inflation, you know, right now because it's a tax on working families, you know. And Dr. Oz can't possibly understand what that is like. You know, he has 10 gigantic mansions. You know, he, we, we must push back against corporate greed. We must make sure that we're also pushing back against price gouging as well, too. You know, we also be able to make more in Pennsylvania and make more in America. When he had a choice to make his merchandise, the Oz label is on, he made it all in China. You know, who can you believe that can fight against inflation and pushing back against corporate greed or somebody that is chosen working in China versus over American workers. All right. I will allow a 15-second rebuttal to his comments that you have been making things in China. Mr. Oz. Well, I've been trying to talk about policy issues with the people of Pennsylvania. As a doctor, I listen to their ideas, and I want to talk about them. When John Fetterman brings up houses, the irony is he didn't pay for his own house. He got it for a dollar from his sister, and he hasn't been able to, to earn a living on his own. He's lived off his parents. So it, it, it doesn't, it's not a topic that we should be debating on the stage. We should be talking about crime and inflation, the issues that are hurting Pennsylvanians that they're talking about at their kitchen table. No, it, it, that, that, that's a, he, you know, he got his... Pennsylvania right, House Mr. Fetterman, from his own inlays from a, a dollar. Mr. That's Fetterman, typical. we have to continue on. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.